All right, so the WNBA season, it has fully arrived. And I am going through every single WNBA team and letting you know who is on the roster and some of the things that you wanna think about during this season. All right, and so in this video, we're gonna talk about the Phoenix Mercury. Um, so here is currently the roster for the Phoenix Mercury. We have Sophie Cunningham, a six foot one guard, Skylar Diggins Smith, a five foot nine guard, Brittany Griner, a six foot nine center, Megan Gustafson, a six foot three center, Mariah Jefferson, a five foot six guard, Michaela Onyenwerde, a six foot forward, Shea Petty, a five foot seven guard, Katie Sisisko, a six foot two forward, Sug Sutton, a five foot eight guard, Diana Tarazi, a six foot guard, Brianna Turner, a six foot three forward, and Avina Westbrook, a six foot guard. Um, so right now, um, Skylar Diggins Smith is on maternity leave. We will see when she comes back to the team. Also, uh, the Phoenix Mercury picked up Avina Westbrook, and you may remember that she was actually on the Washington Mystics training camp at the start of uh, preseason, but um, they waived her and Phoenix picked her up. And so it'll be really interesting to see how, how she gels with uh, the Phoenix Mercury system. And the biggest theme for this season for the Phoenix Mercury is Brittany Griner, Brittany Griner, Brittany Griner. Um, Brittany Griner, as basically everybody knows at this point, um, she was arrested um, and spent around 10 months uh, in Russia. Um, the U.S has said she was wrong, wrongfully detained there. And she finally got returned back and she said that she was ready to go. She said, I am I am gonna suit up for the Phoenix Mercury and I'm gonna play. And so far in, in preseason, you know, it seemed like she was she was getting back to her old self. Will Brittany Griner be at the level that she was um, before um, she was detained in Russia? Not right away. Uh, but I do think that um, Brittany Griner is going to be on fire this season. She has so many people who are rooting for her and, and like from the fans to uh, different celebrities through other basketball players. Um, I think Brittany Griner is going to have a great season. And I actually think that she has a chance of winning the MVP this season. Um, she was putting up um, MVP quality numbers before before she went over to Russia and I think she's going to return to that. And because of everything that she's been through, I think she's going to get the edge to end up winning it. Um, not that, not to say that the system will be rigged or anything like that. Uh, but if it comes down to like um, Brittany Griner and like Elena Deladon or like, you know, some somebody like that where there's like kind of close, I think Brittany Griner is going to get the edge uh, in the MVP vote because of just everything she's been through, the storyline, all that, all that stuff. Um, I'm just very excited to see Brittany Griner play. Um, she's such a nice player. Uh, she's such a nice person. Um, and I'm just really happy that she's back in America and just interested to see how she plays for the Phoenix Mercury. Um, another storyline is that, you know, Diane Tarazi, uh, is likely going to retire after this season. And so it's going to be fun to kind of see her play uh, probably for the last time with Brittany Griner. Um, do I think that Phoenix will make some noise? Not really. I do think that Phoenix will make it to the playoffs, of course, um, and they'll they'll do well. But I, I don't I don't think they um, I don't I don't think they uh, make it very far. Um, they may make it past the first round, and I think that'll be about it. The Phoenix Mercury is coached by Vanessa Nygaard, who is in her second year at uh, Phoenix and last year didn't turn out the way they wanted to. And primarily because, you know, they were expecting Brittany Griner to, to be there last year, but she was in Russia. And so I think this year we're really gonna get a chance to see what Vanessa Nygaard's system actually is the way she originally intended it to be, including um, Brittany Griner. So that should be really interesting to see. Um, yeah, though so that's the video. Uh, Phoenix should be interesting. They should make the playoffs. They should make some noise, but I don't think they'll be an actual threat to actually compete for the championship. 
Uh, but yeah, that's the video. What do you think? What do you think about Brittany Griner for the season? Do you think she's going to have an MVP like se uh, season? Do you think she'll, you know, become the MVP of, of the season? Do you think um, that Phoenix will actually be good? What about Diana Tarazi? Uh, is this truly her last year or, or will she stick around longer? Um, so yeah, that's the video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, watch all the other videos in this series. Um, and uh, until next time, guys. Bye.